What's the Big Bad Payments? Today we're doing AP Bound Math Minute looking at Hardy Weinberg. This is a continuation of yesterday's problem of 2013, number 53. There's a syndrome and it is recessively inherited. In an isolated population, we see that one in 500 um, have that syndrome. And we want to figure out what is the frequency of that allele in this isolated population. So looking at our equation, we know that Q squared is going to be our frequency of our homozygous dominant. 2PQ is the frequency of our heterozygous. Q squared is the frequency of our homozygous recessive. And then P is going to be the frequency of my dominant allele, and Q is the frequency of my recessive allele. So I know that 1 in 500 is my Q squared, and I'm looking for my Q value. So we're going to highlight the Q just to tell ourselves, hey, this is what we're looking for. And if you've ever looked at my, one of my videos, you know that I use this beautiful little chart. So we're going to highlight the Q in the chart. So we know that 1 in 500 is going to be my Q squared value. So 1 divided by 500 is 0 0.002. Since that is my Q squared, I now want to solve for my Q. So take the square root of my Q squared, and that gives me my Q. So square root of 0 0.002 gives me 0 0.0447. Now P plus Q equals 1, so 1 minus Q is going to equal P. So that's going to give me a 0 0.9553 for my P value. Now that I know P, I can square that value to get my P squared, which is going to be 0 0.913. So to find 2PQ, it's going to be 2 times my P times my Q, which gives me 0 0.085. And so when I'm looking for my Q value, so we highlight that. So the incidence or the frequency of the uh, Q allele or the recessive allele is going to be 0 0.045. Hope this helps. Remember the AP Bio Pay, which is just success. Bye, y'all.